Alex. Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You all right? I thought you were dead. Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like... I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren and Clarissa. <sighs> I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Oxenfree. Didn't want to talk over that first little bit. In the last episode, we met the Illuminati Pyramid Sunken Water Thingamabob. No idea. Now we are here an hour later, and this is an electric fence. Oh, wrong button. Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower? They're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so... Don't touch. So, we can't go through the electric fence. So it looks like we're heading to the radio tower. Wait. So we have Morse code and a whole bunch of other old 40s music. Let's investigate this. Pardon Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? Richard. <laughs> Richard Harden. Oh, come on! You know that's amazing! Dick Harden? And they named a tower after him? Wow! It's alright, it's a soaker. You'll get it later. What are you, like, seven? Teen? That is a 17 joke. Okay. So now we're climbing up to- ooh! You know, we just met the Illuminati. Uh, we were underwater for a bit and now we're climbing a giant tower what could possibly go wrong oh i don't know i'm i'm calling it now ghosts are going to appear we're again a ghost on this tower uh, i don't like it oh there's quite a bit of stuff happening up here so there's something looking over a few things going on here um hmm so what are we doing Ooh, a view Let's see if we can, see, can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think can happened to fire? Them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Well, Great. the cave was closed. How can they help you? Is this the door? Okay, let's try the door. Door's locked. <sighs> it's locked. Oh, there's Let a window open. Try. That's good. Oh, what is going on with the game? And what exactly can you do except jiggle it more? Oh, there's a window see. open. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. 
No, I keep paying your mind. Well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Well, let's. Oh, now we can see stuff in here. Okay, so what's going on in here? Oh. Okay, that just doesn't make this ten times creepy. How does this thing? Generator, machinery, radio. Okay, first things first. Let's see what the machinery does. Warning: Do not use aboard ship. Unsafe. Radiation limits. You know, wow. I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks. I guess. Okay, let's try the phone. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Uh, let's go. Nope. Nope. That's great. Okay. I don't want to hit the generator. Ah, oh god. Okay, we go back to the phone. Keep hitting the wrong button. Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that when? you? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and really? a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever. Oh, it's a closed woods. network phone. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just Ren, are you alright? Like, physically alright? Because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not alright! I mean, do I sound all right, or do I sound not no, all right? No, you sound pretty I fine. I sound not all right, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they Wait, do... Wait, Ren, someone's yeah, calling on the other probably line. Probably someone Just important. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This Clarissa. It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with I'm you. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. Oh, I, an old military fort. Remember, like, Nothing's ever tower. going to go wrong there. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if... Yeah, you... sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, oh, no, just I could... hurry, yeah, okay? Just There's like... There. I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... Great. And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Oh no, we don't know where Ren is. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first? See about that okay. radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but... Uh, SOS? Mayday, no, mayday, please. um... Someone? CQD? CQD. Come quick. Danger. It's um dead. Oh. Yeah, no, that's that's Did not you get dead. anyone. I think someone was there, but I don't know. So anyways, it sounds like Clarissa has a way to talk to the mainland, so we should maybe go there first. Maybe that's more important right now. Before stuff gets, uh... I'm sure she can handle flipping the switch to talk all by herself. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Well, I guess you'll just surprise me. Lead on. Um... Wait. Wait, what just happened? Oh, let's... Turn this off. Fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will. And have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. Okay, I All don't right. know. Our rescuing duties have hmm. officially commenced. To get this done and get off this rock, like 
The badasses we are. Yeah. <laughs> Righteous. Ah, this sarcasm. So, I don't know... What was... My mouse just stopped working, so we're gonna go save Clarissa. First. Because it sounds like... You know, wandering in a forest is, you know... Good and all at night when it's very creepy, but... Uh, I think she might be more helpful saving first, because we can call... If we can call out for help, we can then go for... Wait, what happened to... Oh, what was the other girl's name? Nola. Whatever happened to her? I want to... We looked at this. Oh, someone's going down. From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, Ka band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site-82, in 1988 it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. From 1941... Okay, so that's... Okay. And wait. I don't even know where... Wait. How does he say where Ren was? I don't... I don't remember him saying where Ren was. Huh. Actually, I don't even know where Ren is. Yeah, the lights are off, so it's probably safe. So yeah, Chris is the only person we know where we can actually go now that I think about it. Empathy Fields, I guess. There we go. Gonna get start getting weird pretty quickly. I'm calling it now. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Just checking, you know. Okay. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on. Okay, here we go. Sorry, just trying to get the map. Oh, Seren's. Seren's all the way up there. So I can go through two places to get to her. Or go through one, two, three to get to him. Wow, so yeah, I'm sticking with, I'm going for uh, Clarissa. She's a lot closer. Come on. To bigger and better? Good talk. So yeah, let's go save Clarissa. She's a lot quicker. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, yes, I'm at Fort yes, Milner working. in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around gym. here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, uh, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared. Look, I think... See that sign? Uh, what's wrong, but... They were originally gonna make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, have more security. like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or... Whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if... Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Fort like, was the home what if of there's the some, um, experimental, uh, program? Sure. I mean... Why not? I'm 
kind it's of all a no good place for to aliens. toss aside any reason for what's been going on. So, aliens. yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. Okay. It's just TV my going premise right now. Telecommunications so, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio... Hmm. So, what's in here? It's locked. Great. So that's locked, so let's go... I think there's... Yeah, there's something down here. So what is this thing? Firing targets? Firing range. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Nope. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a... A snub-nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. It's just my going premise right now, so... Hmm. This is not gonna make me... Is there... Al seven. A low frequency radio wave is incident upon a body of radio waves travel forever until it is absorbed by matter or a person. So wait, what's that? So if I go over this... 1047 anomaly, okay. So that keeps track of what frequency the anomaly was at. And that's locked, so I can't go in there. Strict to keep out, that's probably gonna be nothing important. Oh, another tower. Let's hit up here. Clarissa! Where are you? Clarissa! Oh, forget it. Oh, and I start... That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Uh, it's red. Nope. <laughs> Why is this happening? Dinner time. Oh god. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? No. Not at all. Why is that door open? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kinda do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird Sure. Why is that door now open? I'm gonna go see if there's quickly any other weird frequencies coming around. I wonder, could this be one of them dead booby traps? Thank you, Bugs Bunny, for telling me that it's a booby trap, and I'm now going to die. So, this building right here is not safe. Let's, um... So, we got a creepy light. Uh, yeah, let's head to the facilities. Let's see if we can find Clarissa. This is not gonna go well. You gotta love when they point out that it's a booby trap. That's even better. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Let's see what's in these facilities in the next episode. As this loads, thank you all for watching. I've been the Gilded Gamer. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It's greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy gaming content, please feel free to try to well, please feel free to look at the other videos on my channel. Thank you. This has been Oxenfree. Have a good day, everyone. Mm -hmm.